Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Multileader in AutoCAD. Let's get started. To start adding a Multileader, you will just need to go to Annotate and click Leader. You can also type in MLeader for a keyboard shortcut. And then once you click the Leader icon, you will then ask, be asked to pinpoint where the arrowhead will be. So I'm going to pinpoint this TV. And then, as you can see, I'll be able to stretch this line. This line is called leader. So once I click again on the space, this will be locked in to the area that I want to be, uh, I want to put it. And then as you can see, there's a blinking um, text line. So now I could just type in my text. And then after that, what you have to do is you just need to click anywhere in the space. But as you can see, the text, the landing, and the arrowhead is not visible. So what we have to do is we have to change this. So to change this, we need to go to here. There's a drop down under annotate. And once you click that, you just need to click on this icon, which is the multi-leader style. Once you click that, it will then open this pop out. And then here, we could start modifying the standard. So it's already highlighted, and I'm going to click modify. And the first thing that we're going to change is the text. And as you can see under contact, text height is around quarter inch. So we're going to change that to probably sixth. Next thing we're going to change is the landing line. So go to leader structure. And then we need to change this. So I'm going to change this to around three. And then next thing. We're going to change is the leader format or the arrowhead. So go to leader format and then under arrowhead, we have the size here. So let's change this to two. And then once we do, just click OK and then close. And as you can see, it changed the text height and then the arrowhead. So this is the part that consists the multi-leader. We have the arrowhead here, leader, landing, and the text. To move multi-leader, you just need to click on the multi-leader. Anywhere will do. And then you will need to hold it from the text node. So this one is the node for the text. So I'm going to click on this. And once I do, you can move it around and as you can see it changes and then do it again it will change again you can also lengthen the landing so what you have to do is click on this or just hover around the node and as you can see there's option that will be available and the first thing we we're going to do or see is lengthen the landing. So once you click this, as you can see, the, land, the landing can be manipulated or changed depending on what you want. So I'm going to change this landing to here. And as you can see, I lengthen the landing. You can also add in another leader. So as you can see, I have another arrowhead and a leader. So I'm going to add it again here. And you can add multiple leader again. Press escape to finish the command. And again, the stretch is similar to 
the move that we created here. So stretch is just the way that you move the multi-leader. If you want to remove a leader, you can do that by simply going to this node. It will open another options and you can just click remove leader. And you can also add vertex by hovering again here and you can click on add vertex. And as you can see, I, will, I was able to add vertex for this leader. There's also an option where you can align all of the multi-leader so that it looks organized and professional. So what you have to do is you need to click this drop down menu under leader and then click align. It will then ask you to select all the multi leader. And once you do, press space bar. And then after that, it will ask you where you want to reference the align. So I'm going to reference the wall. And then after that, you can either go horizontal or vertical in this situation i'm going to use a vertical direction so i'm going to click the second point and as you can see everything aligned perfectly thank you for watching and hope you liked the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below